hello there let's go ahead and take a look at what implicit invocation is when it comes to Google Actions and before we go to implicit invocation let's look at explicit invocation I'm going to take the example of an app here or an action called help me sleep on Google Home uh, when you go ahead and ask Google something on these lines hey Google talk to help me sleep over here I'm explicitly mentioning the name of the action or app that I want to talk to. That's explicit invocation. Explicit invocation with deep linking would be if I say, hey Google, ask Help Me Sleep to play piano music for two hours. Here I'm explicitly uh, asking to talk to the action called Help Me Sleep and at the same time I'm calling something, uh, calling an intent inside of the action. Uh, in this case, the intent is uh, play music or the exact intent name actually is play sound, right? Uh, now, what does, uh, you know, I, I would think of this first one here or these both as to kind of you going to a website, right? The home page of a website and this one you going to uh, one of the uh, other pages on the website directly uh, and not the home page. Uh, basically, you type in the address of the website in the browser. What's implicit invocation? Think of implicit invocation like just, you know, searching on the web for uh, for something. You're searching for something and uh, the web comes up with suggestions for what other websites you could go to for the same. Uh, there is a similar feature in Google Home or the Google Assistant, right? Um, or Google Assistant enabled speakers. You go and say something like, hey Google, help me relax or help me sleep or hey Google, play brown noise for seven hours. Uh, in that scenario, Google might come back and uh, you respond to you saying, hey, sure for that, you might like uh, help me sleep want to give it a try. I'm not saying if you try it out it's gonna uh, mention this particular action. This is just an example. Uh, and if you say yes, uh, it'll actually uh, invoke the action and then it would be like as though you had explicitly asked for it. Let's take a look at how to enable that. Uh, I have already enabled it uh, in the help me sleep action that I was talking to earlier. Uh, this is the main intent and in my case the main intent is the one which might help the discovery with these phrases and the play sound intent is the one which will help discovery with phrases like this. Uh, it can help discovery with more phrases. I'm just going to put one more example here. This is one other example right? Uh, which it could discover. There are many more examples in my training. Uh, but I'm just putting a couple of examples here. Now, you'll see that in this case, I have both these lined here. So basically, I go to Actions Console and Develop, and at on Actions, you will see that I have two actions here. Uh, how do you set this up? For that, I'm actually first going to show you uh, another action. This is just a copy of the same action, uh, but I call it dev version of it. If you go look here, I have only one action. Basically, by default, the welcome intent or the main intent shows up here. And if I were to click here, it will show me all the uh, phrases that I have in it. Let's go back here. How do you add more intents from a discovery perspective? Uh, what you need to do is go to dialog flow, select your particular project, go to integrations, integration setting, over here, you see uh, the explicit invocation is there uh, by default. Uh, if you want to add an intent for implicit invocation, then you go ahead and say, uh, in this scenario, I'm going to say play sound. And uh, there it's being selected. Uh, and I'm going to say, uh, actually, before I say close, let me say one more thing. Here it mentions that uh, specify the intents that trigger deep linking. Uh, I, I don't think that is true. Uh, you could do deep linking even without specifying the intent here. Maybe I'll talk about that a little later. But for now, 
these are the intents that you want to add uh, for which you want implicit invocation to work. Uh, just like, you know, how you optimize your website to make Google, uh, the Google crawler, you know, go through your website and recommend your website to users. Likewise, you want to add intents here so that the Google crawler, yes, that is a Google crawler even for assistance or, you know, voice enabled actions. Uh, so that the Google crawler goes through your action and hopefully recommends the same uh, if you have uh, specified good amount of training and followed all the good rules and uh, all that good stuff. So I'm going to go close this. Once I close this, if I go here and just refresh this guy, you see now I have uh, two intents here, right? The play sound intent is also here. Let's go take a quick look at what's inside of play sound. Uh, these are just some examples. Uh, so yeah, uh, that was a very quick look at how to, uh, you know, add an action other than the default action or how to add an intent as part of your uh, discoverable phrases so that implicit invocation works uh, better for you. Uh, here is the look at something in analytics which you know tells you this particular action, how, how often it was recommended during this time frame. Uh, when folks or users had asked Google something like, hey Google, play sound type, which is for example, play white noise, play pink, you know, play pink noise or play piano music and things to that nature. Um, there were uh, around 605 cases where Google had recommended that uh, we go ahead, I mean, you know, Google had recommended to the user something on these lines. Uh, hey, for that, you might like help me sleep, want to give it a try. Of that, 323 times, uh, or 53% selection rate was what was there. Uh, basically, 323 times users agreed to go ahead and try it out the action. Uh, here are the other scenarios where the action was recommended. Uh, it says other because it was data with uh, low usage at that time, and uh, they do not actually want you to uh, identify a user and so it just says other over here. In the past, before they did this, you could actually see the actual utterance, what the user had said instead of other. Uh, yeah, that was a quick look at it. And as far as the Google crawler goes, if you wanted to see a Google crawler going through your action, uh, you would need a fulfillment, so uh, maybe more about that some other time. But if you had a fulfillment, then uh, if you try to log or, you know, print a log of what's happening in your action, uh, you will see that in some cases it's not an actual user, but a Google crawler. Hopefully this gave you an idea of what implicit invocation is and what you need to do to enable implicit invocations for your action. Thank you very much.